Hello, my name is Kenny Pitoff. I'm an artist from Melbourne and I like to paint, draw and make things out of clay. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which I'm joining you from, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, who have been creating art here for thousands of years. If you're watching this from Tweed Regional Gallery, you're joining me from Bunjalung Country. So you may have seen my big mural on the wall at Tweed Regional Gallery in my current exhibition, Planes, Trains and Bubble Bills. This work actually started as small sculptures before I decided to do it really big and put it on the wall. Here are some examples of some of the small sculptures and as you can see, I've been a little bit playful in changing the names of the colours. Some examples are Missing Puzzle Piece Purple Cut My Own Fringe Fuchsia and Pear Crestination. These titles were all inspired by the year that was 2020. Today, you're going to be making your own crayon in your very own colour. We're going to be making a crayon made out of clay, or as I like to call it, a clayon. You will need some paints, you'll need black paint, white paint, and all your favourite colours. You'll also need some paint brushes, uh, so you'll need a small paint brush, and also a tiny paint brush. You'll also need some water to wash your paintbrush in. You'll need some clay. Now you could use air dry clay, you could use Play-Doh. I'm gonna be using earthenware clay today, which is clay that gets fired in a kiln. Uh, and the last thing you'll need are some clay tools. I'll be using these tools, but if you don't have tools like this, you could use a plastic knife, you could use the back of your paintbrush. A lot of artists just use their hands too. The other thing you might need is an actual crayon to work from. Okay, so before we get started, let's have a look at what makes a crayon look like a crayon. So, you've got kind of a blunt end at the top, a bit like a pencil, uh, and it's in the shape of a cone, and then a long cylinder, a bit like a sausage. Now. Let's get a little bit of our clay out and get stuck into it. So the first thing that's good is to roll it out like you're rolling a sausage. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my clay tool to cut it in an angle at the top and then use my fingers to make it into a point. And then the last thing you want to do is add a good bit of detail just to show the definition of the point of it. While we're giving our sculpture a little bit of time to dry, let's start to think about what paints we're going to use and what colour we're going to give our crayon. So for me, a lot of time recently has been spent at home. And one of the fun things about being at home is that you can stay in your pyjamas. Have you ever spent the whole day in your pajamas? That's what my crayon's going to be about. It's going to be called Pajama Day Purple. So, while we're mixing our paint color, one thing to think about is how the paper of the crayon is actually a little bit lighter than the crayon itself. So, I'm going to mix the darker purple on my right side here and that's going to be the actual crayon and then I might put a little bit more purple here and I'm going to mix this with some white and that's going to be the paper okay. once your crayon is dry uh, it'll look a little bit like this so this is a, a a crayon sculpture that I made a little bit earlier and what I've done as well is I've given it one coat of just white so that when you go to paint it with your color it's, it's really bright um, so you might like to do that as well so now with my small brush I'm going to paint the crayon So 
So you might like to leave your crayons just at this point, because they're pretty special just like this. Or, if you'd like to go a little bit further, the next thing I'm going to do is paint on the squiggly bits of each end of the crayon. And then in my neatest, finest handwriting with my smallest, tiniest brush, I'm going to paint the name of the colour. Okay, now that I've finished my pyjama day purple, I might like to hide it in an actual crayon box to trick my friends. Um, you might just make one crayon, or you might make a whole crayon box full of colourful crayon sculptures. Thanks so much for watching along. I hope you have a particularly colourful rest of the day, and see you next time. Bye!